He's 6x before versus me. You guys didn't see it, but he did, and he's doing it again. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with the plan, and I'm just gonna rip it in his eye. And if he wakes up with ace-10, then he's truly a god. And he is genuinely a god. I mean, we sucked out on him, but listen, Hagar is a fucking god. Alright, we're seven-handed here, so I think that that's fine to go all in with the 12 Biebers and the Queen Jack. This is bad, though. Getting ISO'd UTG plus one is very, very, very bad. We did not win the Battle Royale yet, Alfred, but we're cruising. Get there! Oh, I like it, I like it. Pop down to the Queens. Good flop. Gonna come in for a continuation. I'm gonna give him a chance to bluff. I'm also trying to think of hands that he calls three streets with that are worse than mine, and there's very, very few that we're ahead of, you know? There are some that were behind, like tens, king, jack, um, you know, any set really. And he only really calls with like ace, ten that we are, are ahead of. And maybe like ace, jack, ace, king sometimes, but ace, king probably three bets pre. So I wanna leave him a chance to bluff, you know, under rep my hand a little bit. This is an awkward, awkward, awkwardly large sizing. I don't really see myself folding with Romeo Pro for, uh, he's, he's a bit too wild. Ugh, although it's tough to think of hands that he has that are bluffs. Like, I mean, he does have some worse value hands, of course, like Ace-10 and Queen-10. But I don't know if he shoves those for value now, like, how could he? He could shove Ace-10 for value, maybe, but he can't shove Queen-10, unless he puts me on, like, Ace-King or Ace-Jack. Hmm. I think I got a call, though. Whoop! I think I got a call. Romeo Pro's a little bit too wild. Got to check to him to let him have some bluffs. Hmm, 100 blinds. 3 of 42. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. But in when we raise under the gun with the Queen 10, we flop top pair in a three-way pot. Not gonna be folding that bad, even though it's huge and pretty nerve wracking. I mean, we're super deep though, so it makes sense why he's betting so big. I wish we had a backdoor flush draw. Cause now we'd have a flush draw. I'm gonna call again and just fold the river, I guess, if he three barrels. But I do think he's gonna bluff twice a lot. It just sucks that he has so many better value hands that are one pair hands. Nice, dude. Let's go. Yo, underestimated with the Twitch Prime sub. My man, welcome to Team Never Lucky, bro. Can we get some my mans in the chat? Keep the hype alive, team. We will go sub mode at some point. He had King Jack offsuit. Got him. Hello. Hello. Don't fold, bro. Don't fold. Is it worth spending $1,200 for Herman Miller? I mean, in my opinion, yes. Any good share with nice lumbar support is worth it. But you can get cheaper Herman Millers than 1200, right? You can get one for like four or five, 600. But yeah, I, I would I would, I would, would go for it. I'm not gonna go for it all, but I'm gonna go for a big bet. We're also all in the 109 with Ace-King suited. He calls. Not scared of a backdoor flush draw, not scared of 5-3 because he flatted the small blind. Only scared of nothing. I'm scared of nothing. I'm scared of nothing. Nah, I'm scared of nothing. I can't think of a single hand that is better than mine right now. Snap call. He could have had a set of fours. He probably had two pair or a set of fours. When he calls that quickly, I don't really see him having a hand that's not a two pair plus. Ace two. Yeah, he rivered two pair. Flatted ace deuce in the small blind and then fucking floated us on the flop, huh? Bad time to float, bro. Hot damn. We have a lot of chips. I'm just going to call. This is second place stack, ABC Poker here. Okay. We have an open-ended straight flush draw, which also acts as a royal flush draw. So we're gonna bet. He folds. 80% of a royal. Come on, I wanna see a turn. Rabbit cam. Coming in for a raise with the ace and the jack. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Damn. I checked to this guy with the intention to call a bet, but he bet fucking 44,000. If we had a backdoor flush try, I think I'd call, but I think I'd just give it up to him now. Because he bet twice before as a bluff, so there's nothing really to let us know that he's going to slow down. Okay. 
Mm -mm, that's a bad flop. We're going to start with a check. Now, we're still six people off the money in the high roller. Uh, if it's a good turn, I think I might lead here. This bet is kind of weak and small. But I do just want to check. I don't want to... I don't want to uh, bet huge. I, I don't, I don't want to bet the flop. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to lead this turn. Not insanely huge. And then I'm going to bet the river for value as well. Unless, of course, it comes queen, nine, seven, or even like a king would be really bad. We just want to come a brick, you know, like a three or a deuce or a four. That's a great river. So yeah, we're going to come in for like a 75k value bet now. And we should be getting called by a lot of worse one pair hands. Maybe we go even a little bit more polarizing. Because we check called the flop, right? So he's not going to think that I have too many good hands. He's probably going to think I have a busted flush draw or straight draw a bunch of the time. Let's go. Let's go. A big pot polka. Big pot polka. What do you have? I bet you just had a jack. Queens! He could have just 3-bet pre and got it all in, dude. Should have just 3-bet pre and get it all in. 120 blinds, still 1 of 17 here. Gonna 2.5x into ABC Poker's big blind. All right, we call. Oh, we need an ace or a king. Feels like we haven't been hitting on the turn of the river. If we win with ace, actually, it just feels like we haven't won with ace-king at all today. That just, that just means we're going to win a huge one later on. Just means we're going to win a huge one later on. All right, we call again. We're getting uh, a little over two to one. All right, a flip back to back. Hold. Okay. Can't lose two flips in a row, right? That's not how it works. 50-50s. You got to win one of two. That's how it works. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, see, this is what this guy was doing before. He was three and a half Xing all the time. Man, give me a tray. Give me a tray. Oh, but we're playing big pot poker first. We'll review that hand in a second, but first we gotta call all in with ace aces. No. Okay. What a turn though, what a turn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes game is easy. One of 14, one of 14. Do it! Hagar, get us in the money. There you go. We're in the money in the party pokes high roller. We like that. Hmm. This guy's been having really big sizings and whatnot. I'm gonna call with the sixes. All right. Hello. 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 We thought the set, but it was not against our boy Hagar. But if he's five xing, indicative of a good hand. Mm -mm. Just gonna check call, check call, check call. Kind of nervous that he checks back the turn here. So I might lead, actually. I mean, we rep so many draws. There's so many draws, and I don't want him to check back. So I'm actually going to lead. Hopefully he shoves. We only lose to tens and queens, right? Hopefully he doesn't fold. He's absolutely tanking up a storm here. Ah. So blinds pop up, and we got a pair of eights. All right, well, we're playing big pot poker here. Big pot poker. Just have sevens, dude. Let's not be flipping. Let's not be flipping, busting the nut. I don't want to lose a flip here as well. Oh, ho, ho! today's a day of sets. <coughs> Today is a day of motherfucking sets. Two, one of ten. Hagar, dude. I want to play pots with Hagar. Hey, we got a final table. Final table numero duo. Oh, ho, ho. Hagar's cooler in him. Go on, my son. We're two of eight to Hagar. He's the uh, chip leader. No doubt about that. So let's take a look at stacks here real quick. We got Hagar with 1.5 milli. We got us with a milli. And then we got Lilio with 780. And everybody else has 30 bigs or less. Uh, ABC Poker's got a little bit more. But like 10 BB, 15 BB, uh, 20. You know, a lot of smaller stacks, especially when the blinds go up in six minutes to big blind 16K, that's really going to move the action. Oh, the ladders. The boy making daily quads. We're already down to seven. Guaranteed $2,125. Good decision to last minute reg this. Ace Queen, the Battle Royale, though. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Hagar just punishing fools. Absolutely punishing fools. Down to six now. Down to six. Guaranteed like 2800 or something? 2600 Check it back for Hagar this time. I mean, I'm not going to fold the turn. Wow, he's min betting? That's weird. I mean, he just always has a bit better than us, it seems like. 
He just always has like one better. It's cool though. It's cool. Seven four. It's not our hand. Maybe if Hagar min raises though, it's our hand. Ooh, that's a min raise. We were predicted so far. No, it's not our hand. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it is our hand. It is our hand. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're down to five. We are guaranteed 3,500 bucks. I mean, basically, it's been chilling this whole final table. You know, we haven't had many playable hands. And we've just been letting people knock each other out. We'll see a flop. Like I said, stacks are pretty even now. Um, I think I'll check Race's board. Hopefully Lilio isn't watching. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Solidify our second place uh, stack. All right, so generally I would just call. But I mean, after seeing eight deuce, I guess I'm just going to three bet. I mean, maybe we should just still call because Ace-8, like, absolutely dominates him if he's raising 100% of hands, but we should just win the chips most of the time pre-flop here. All right, well, he calls, and we find a pretty good flop, so that's good. I'm going to check. 110k. I'm going to value bet the turn and the river, I think, in this end. We'll take it. Playing upon the high roller, though. <clears throat> with the ace four we limped in we're gonna check the flop over to hagar we're gonna check call and then we're gonna check call again and then we're gonna check call again don't have a fucking nine dude that would be so messed up i gotta lead the river right because when he's bluffing he bets huge nah i gotta let him bluff still i call hagar just bet and i call whatever you bet i call Hagar! How is the thing? How is the thing? <coughs> How does Hagar have like one better every single time I have a good hand? We are now the smallest stack with 33 big blinds in the party poker uh, high roller. I'm gonna limp shove 33 bigs here with the ace four versus Hagar. He's 6x before versus me. You guys didn't see it, but he did and he's doing it again. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with the plan and I'm just gonna rip it in his eye. And if he wakes up with ace-10, then he's truly a god. And he is genuinely a god. I mean, we sucked out on him, but listen, Hagar is a fucking god. Take back everything that I said about this guy that I want to play pots with him, he's crazy, he's 5xing, he's 4xing, that he's madman. He's a god. This guy's a legend. And he's just unlucky. I'll let him know that he's never lucky. This guy's a fucking god. Man, this guy's a god. Can't get over it. What are you gonna do, Hagar? Ooh. That should slow him down, unless he has a 10. Ah, oh, never flush. I guess I can't whine. Ah, <laughs> no! Hagar's a god! Hagar is a fucking god. Why? Why can't that river just come a king and I can win with eight, or not not a king, a deuce and I can win with eight high? Ah, I gotta race. I was gonna say I'm not even gonna race, but I'm gonna race. This bet means he's got a king or a queen, right? This bet's but gotta mean he's got a king or a queen. Don't raise Lilio. Just let me see a river. I got a flush draw. I wanna see a river. Man, never hitting those diamonds. Diamonds are forever as well. It's fucked up. I would bet you $6 that Hager has king eight. Oh, man. I'm really close. Really, really close, right? That was pretty close. But someone in chat can get my $6. Can we get a pitch in for it to get Hager to take over Tonka stream? Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Hager, I just want to be friends. Hey, that's a good flop. That's a straight. 
We don't love it. We're gonna check call. I don't think we get called by much when we uh, when we bet. But I can't really see myself folding to any bet size. If he has a king, he's got a king, you know? <coughs> There's not much we can do versus that. We have a straight on the river where we're like, we shouldn't really have many straights, so we just have to call. But yeah, that's pretty un unlucky that he just has a bigger straight. We got sixes, we're gonna be all in. I'm just shoving. We got 26 big blinds. Over a limp from Hagar and a limp from this dude. No, 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 no. Oi, 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 oi. I almost fucking min raised. That would have been annoying. All right, we got Ace Deuce. We're peeling. Still, no, we're four or four now. Never mind. But I mean, guaranteed forty-seven fifty. Ooh, we didn't even update that we were up forty-seven fifty. Two K is the next ladder. I will for sure shove this versus Lilio. I should be shoving more versus Lilio. He folded a button, by the way. All right, this is gonna be a reshove versus Lilio. Not versus Hagar, though. I think he just race calls me with like A6 too much. Easy shove versus Ilio, though. Lilio. Easy, easy. I mean, so far, this guy's still in our reshove spots. All right, this is super easy. I'll shove again. Raise it, buddy. Raise it. I want him to raise because I'm gonna shove. Because he's raising so fucking wide that we're just printing chips by shoving 10 jack suited. Oh, yo, yo. We need a jack, an ace, or a nine. We tried, man. I feel like apart from apart from that uh apart from that ace four hand, we got really unlucky in, in the high roller. That's the first time I played the high roller in like almost a month and we got fourth place, so I'll fucking take it. It's sellout time, boys. Check it out.